In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the introductory project Flower Turtles. In this project, we will use turtle agents to draw a flower onto the spaceland terrain. Notice that the block space is defined by three tabs, the world, everyone, and turtle. The world tab can be thought of as a third person perspective. You will often use the world tab to set up the project or to make observations about the entirety of Spaceland. The Everyone tab can be used to define shared behaviors between all agents, regardless of breed. The default agent breed is Turtle. We will use the Turtles to draw the flower. To accomplish this, we must first create Turtles in the World tab. Since the Setup button falls within the Push button category of widgets, we can detect when the Setup button has been clicked using the When Pushed block in the interface drawer. Select Setup from the drop-down menu. To create five turtle agents, we can use either a Create or a Create Each Do block. We want to use the latter because once our turtles have been created, we want the turtle to perform an action. Within the Create Each Do block, we can specify the number of agents and specify the breed of the agent we are going to be using from the drop-down menu. In this case, we want to create five turtle agents. If you notice up at the top of the screen, the Run Code button is turned green. This means that the block space has changed. To ensure that the behavior of the agents in Spaceland reflects the changes you have made in the block space, it is important to select the Run Code button. Note that if the Run Code button is red, there is an error in the block space. The most common reason the Run Code button would be red is if a block's fields have been left blank. Since our Run Code button is green, we can click Run Code and then, when setup is pushed, we will create five turtle agents in the center of Spaceland. If we zoom in, it becomes clear that we've created some agents. The default color, shape, and size of an agent are white, cube, and size 1. Our agents have all been created in the center of Spaceland, so they are difficult to see. To make them visible individually, we can make the turtles move forwards after they have been created within the Create Each Do block. Notice that as I drag the forward block within the Create Each Do block, a yellow line appears. This highlight indicates where the new block will be inserted. Let's also make our turtles random colors. This can be further explained in the Traits tutorial. Giving them random colors would make it easier for us to see the different agents. Let's run our code and see how our changes have impacted Spaceland. Now, when setup is pushed, the turtles are created and they step away from each other. You can now see clearly five distinct cubes. In order to make our turtles do something, we are going to go into the turtle tab of the code. All code placed here will be run individually by each turtle. Since we will draw the flower over time in many steps, we are going to use a while toggled block, which can be found in the interface drawer. We can select forever from the while toggle drop down menu. This is the default toggle button. Note that it can be renamed or there can be multiple while toggled blocks. While the forever button is toggled, the code within the while forever toggled block will be executed once for every tick in the star logo nova clock. We want each of our turtles to draw one circular petal of our flower. To do that, we're going to use two movement blocks. If we go into the movement tab of the code drawer, we can take out forward one and left by five degrees. You can play with these values to change the size of your flower if you wish. So now, while forever is toggled on, each turtle will repeatedly move forward one step and turn left by five degrees. Over time, the turtles will each trace their own circle. Now, click Run Code, Push Setup, Toggle Forever, and let's see what happens. Our turtles move, but they do not draw anything yet. To allow the turtles to trace their movements onto the terrain, use the Pen Down block, which you can find in the Environment folder of the code. 
This block has the turtles leave a trail behind them whenever they move that is the same color as the agent. So we can drag the pen down just above the forward one block because we want them to do that before they've taken the first step forward. Alternatively, you can do this in the setup. Now, if we run the code, click the setup button and toggle forever to on. You can see that the turtles now draw a flower. Eventually, these agents will loop back and just repeat. If you want them to go faster, you can use the engine speed slider at the top right of your screen to increase the number of star logo clock ticks that occur each second. And now, our flower turtle project is complete.